What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. If you guys have watched the channel at all, you know how much I love showing you guys how to make hacking gadgets, but it kind of brings up a philosophical question. And I guess that question is, what really is hacking? Well, Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines it as to cut or sever with repeated irregular or unskillful blows. Also, probably more applicable to the channel, it says it's to gain illegal access to a computer network or system. And we absolutely do not condone or endorse any of those behaviors whatsoever. Even attempting to access something that you're not allowed to access is extremely uncool and very illegal. Don't be a skate. And again, for those of you who don't know the terminology skid, it's basically it means a script kitty, and it's somebody who like downloads a script or downloads a program, they have no idea how it's made, and they just run it on whatever they want because they just want to cause as much chaos as possible. I am Professor Chaos, bringer of destruction and doom! Don't be that guy. That being said, the very same tools that could be used to hack somebody could also be used to help someone. It's the old story about a hammer. You can build a house with a hammer, but you could probably also break into one with it. And that's where today's tool comes in. It's actually something I personally carry around with me at all times on my keychain. Today's tool is called MediCat. MediCat is pretty much like a live operating system you can plug into any computer, and it's got so many great tools and so many great features that you can really get yourself out of a jam with it. And it's not just good for things like password removal, it's also an extremely powerful tool for things like ransomware and malware recovery. And that's why I carry it with me all the time, because you never know when you're going to need it. So today I'm going to take you through all the cool features that MediCat has and teach you step by step exactly how to make your very own copy. Let's get at it! All right, so MediCat may not be the newest tool in the world, but it is something I use all the time and it's super useful. So I figured, hey, why not cover it in a video because maybe some of you guys haven't heard of it. So I guess the best way to show you how MediCat works is to break out the, the laptop, laptop of science. science. Uh, the, the laptop, laptop of science. science. No, that didn't work. All right, all kidding aside, I actually tried to do this like five different ways to make it a little bit more elegant. So I had it set up with a laptop and I was trying to run HDMI out, but it wouldn't actually output HDMI Ooh. through MediCat. So uh, that was kind of a no-go right there. Then I decided to be super clever about it. I'm like, why don't I just run it in a VM? However, it's actually really hard to run tools like this in a virtual machine, at least to my understanding. But where there's a will, there's a way, and we're gonna make it happen. Right after this segue to today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for PCB design, manufacture, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal fabrication, and more. No matter what your project is, PCBWay has engineers on staff that want to make sure any project you have will come to reality and come out perfectly. PCBWay has been extremely helpful and extremely great to work on in every single project I've done. And don't forget the module store. There's so much cool stuff in there. Definitely check it out. You never know what you might find. Thank you so much to PCBWay for your continued support. You guys are awesome. Let's get back at it. All right, so where there's a will, there's a way, and here is the Laptop, Laptop of Science. Science. I definitely say this is the hard way, but let's fire it up. So fire this up. And then if we spam F11, because this is an MSI laptop, we should be able to change our bootloader. There we go. And let me see if I can adjust a few things to make this easier for you guys to see. All right, so that seems pretty good. So if we navigate down to, I think it's the partition two, it should say secure boot disabled and we're going. Awesome. And just like that, we're booted right up into MediCap. So real quick, let's just get a quick lay of the land. So our top option right here is antivirus. So we have malware bytes on here. So we can just run this on any of the hard drives on this computer and potentially remove viruses and stuff. So that's very, very useful. We can go into backup and recovery and look at all these tools. There are so many great tools in here. This will recover virtually any type of data that you might need off of this drive. So again, this is why I carry this around with me all the time. We also have boot repair a ton of different ways to repair dicks. A ton of different ways to repair discs. And yeah, there are a ton of different ways to do boot repairs, even have stuff like Grub2 fixing. So you can fix your issues with Linux, Windows, super easy. We have diagnostics, so you can run memory tests. You can run the ultimate boot CD, which has a ton of different options as well and live operating systems. We'll actually come back to this in a second because this is super cool. There are three different live operating systems for different applications, but it's very, very useful. 
You can go in and do partition tools. So if you wanted to just reformat your entire hard drive or start over, this is a great way to do that as well. And then you can go into Windows Recovery. So this is basically just a recovery disk for Windows 8, Windows 10, and Windows 11. Again, this is extremely, extremely useful. So let's hop back and go into our live operating systems because I want to show you the mini Windows 10. This is super fun. And run. Two very boring minutes later. Hey, we're booting up into Windows. Fantastic. All right, and now you can see we're booted directly into our live operating system. And this tool has so many tools in it. I mean, check out, you have disk cleaning tools, defraggler, not that you have to use that anymore on most of the hard drives, but still so many great tools. You have driver tools. There's even games on here for one reason or another. You have dead pixel tester, which is fun. Tons and tons of hardware tools, imaging tools. Belina Etcher's in here. I mean, we've used that before. All sorts of media creation tools for reinstalling Windows. Windows 11 install assistant. It's just, there's so many tools in here. You have Putty, you have Kitty. You can open Telegram for desktop. You've got Wireshark. Then you have your ransomware description. Look at how many anti-ransomware tools there are in here. That's crazy. So if like, you know, your crazy uncle downloaded a PDF and then you got ransomware, chances are there's a good chance you can actually save the day with this tool. Again, such a useful thing. This is why I carry around with me all the time. You have McAfee, Kaspersky, I can never say that, Malware Hunter, so many tools, so many tools. And of course, things like 7Disk and Process Explorer, Process Hacker, so many things you can do in there. And also you have tools over here like Reset User Password. That's what I use to reset a password on a laptop that we didn't know the password for. It's super, super simple and extremely useful. So let's restart back into Medicat and take a look at some of the other stuff. All right, so let's take a look at one more of the live operating systems because this is a cool one too, the Active Data Studio. Now, I've run into some weird little issues as far as booting stuff, so if things don't work the first time, you can always try a different boot mode, like in this case, running it with Wimboot makes it work just fine, so run it that way. All right, and we're booted up. Very, very simple, but that doesn't mean you don't have any tools on here, because even down here, we look at it, we have an active disk image, which can back up and recover data from your hard drive, you've got file recovery, You've got partition recovery. If you accidentally deleted a partition, you can actually save it with this. Uh, password changer, like a lot of the other ones. Partition manager. You've got disk editors. Kill disk that can permanently erase clusters, which means it's going to replace all of the data on whatever cluster you're at with zero. So that's gone forever. And then we have other backups for all sorts of other good stuff. Also, awesome, really cool, active undelete. So you can restore files and folders that were deleted accidentally, as long as, again, they weren't replaced by zeros. So this has, again, even more applications, even more tools in here. You have almost everything you need just in this one part of Medicat to do, again, pretty much anything you're gonna need for most circumstances. It is such a powerful tool. I absolutely love it. And I highly encourage each and every one of you to do what we're gonna do in a second and make our own Medicat USB and then you know do a deep dive and check out all of the programs. Cause again, it's very, very cool. So let's hop off of here, hop over to my desktop, and then I'll show you how to make one. But yeah, now you can see why I'm so excited about Medicat. It's such a useful tool and again, I only scratched the surface of what it can do. But if you're in a jam with a computer, chances are Medicat can save you. All right, so let's hop on down to the desktop and show you how it's done. So we're going to go to MediCatUSB.com, which is the Medicat website. And all you really got to do is scroll down to download, and then you can download both the installer and the files. So first of all, I'm on Windows. We're going to go ahead and click on Windows. And then I've got a folder right there and it's gonna install or download Medicat installer. So we'll do that. And then there's the main downloads. Now you can download this over torrent if you'd like to. But what I ended up doing was just using the alternate download methods and clicking on mirror one. It was way, way faster, at least for me personally. So I'm not gonna do that again because I've already got it. So we'll just go ahead and hop down to our desktop over here. And then we have Medicat. And right there we have both of the files that we need. So I've already gone ahead and plugged in my USB key right here, which I just unplugged and I have to plug it back in. That was kind of stupid. There we go. I already got that ready to go. So, and it pops up a new window, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and do one thing really quick first. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up our virus and threat protection. This is very important because some of the files on there, Microsoft Defender does flag. So we wanna go through and go to exclusions and we're gonna go to add an exclusion folder and we're gonna add this folder to it. So I'm over here and we're gonna to go to desktop and then Medicat, select folder. We wanna add an exclusion to that drive that we just made, that's super important. So we're gonna add exclusion, folder, 
and that's going to be right into the drive medicat that we made select folder so hopefully windows doesn't flag a bunch of stuff as malicious because you know it's not so we'll close that go ahead and open the medicat installer.bat and yes it is going to look like a scary file because bat files can be scary files but this one we're good we're going to go to run anyway it's going to pop up a window it is just going to ask permission to run as administrator and here it goes it says right there on the folder this is why we did it before medicat contains a tool that may trigger antivirus we know that so we're going to press enter and we're going to get going here so this is a really really easy really really cool program and yeah it's even got a fun little cat on there press enter we'll have to drag this back down moving target and it just says if you paid for this software, you got scammed because, again, this is free software, completely free. And it's awesome. Any key to continue. So this is very simple. All we have to do is click install Medicat. That's it. So it's going to start going for there. It's going to check right now if we had that download file. If it didn't have it, it's going to download it now, but that takes even longer. So we don't want to do that. So it wants to know what drive I'm installing it to. And I made it Medicat, which is J right there. Click OK. And then it wants you to confirm to make sure you didn't click the wrong thing. I know it's J, but you can wipe out any of your hard drives this way. Be very, very careful. It says right there that J is the letter I want. I don't know why I'm pointing. You can't see that, but click enter and it asks if you want to use GPT. No, it's not chat GPT. It's the partitioner. So we're going to say yes, because we're going to format the drive. Why not? Let's go. Would you like to use secure boot? This is just easy to leave it on. There's reasons to turn it off, but we're not going to worry about it right now. So there we go and it should take about a few seconds and it's going to pop back up because you can see it changed the name of it to ventoy which is fine and it wants to know if it changed the drive letter through its formatting which in our case it did not it's still j press enter do, 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 do. cool and all it's doing is extracting so this takes a little while because extracting takes a little while we'll get right back to it in just a second when it's done All right, so this is not the fastest USB in the world. So this is taking like 15 minutes or so. If I had a better USB, maybe it would take a little bit less time, but we're almost there. And it's 100%, but it's still doing stuff. Oh, come on. <laughs> Brilliant, here we go. And now it's gonna start installing things right here. So this is where if we didn't have our Windows Defender set up properly, we'd start running into some, well, Windows Defender issues. It's gonna start flagging stuff, but I believe I've got everything figured out. So that shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, this is just gonna go through right here. It's checking all of the, the completed files to make sure everybody's happy. And yeah, just going through everything. All right, cool. It's really picking up pace right now. And we should be done in just a second. Hey, perfect. Now you'll see there was one missing file and I actually had Windows Defender crack one thing because I forgot to uh, whitelist the drive itself. But, you know, you live and learn and uh, I can actually manually fix that later. No big deal. So yeah, that's all it takes to make one of the most useful USB tools I have. And again, there's a reason why I carry around with me every single day. Is it something that I use every single day? Of course not. But, I mean, for the amount of times that I've needed it and it's come in handy, it is absolutely a must have. The installation takes a little while, but hey, we're patient. You don't really have to do much the whole time. So once it's going, it's going and you're good to go. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Are there any other tools you'd like me to go over? Leave a comment down below. As always, you guys are absolute legends and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>